All right, let's talk about the rain and fog. My name's Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. So before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to PunishersPB.com for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you guys are looking for any sort of deals on gear, they have everything. They've been around since I think like 2003 or 2007. They've been around for a long time. So you can check out their website and uh, see what deals they have. What I wanted to talk about first was fogging issues. The first thing uh, I wanted to talk about was actually having a thermal lens. So I'm using my yellow one as an example because it's going to be easier to see. You see that black section around there? If you look there, see if I can get that in the frame. If you look there, there's actually another piece that is in there. So that's gonna help with fogging. Uh, if you're breathing kind of heavy and all that, it's gonna help with kind of dissipating out you're not gonna have to worry about any fog happening. So the other issue with fogging is people cover up these vents. Uh, so with our command, so the CMDs here, uh, all those vents are there for a reason. It's supposed to help with getting all that moisture and heat and all that away from the lens so it's not gonna fog. If you cover that up, some people the first time that they play put on a hoodie and they put it over. If you're covering that up, there's nowhere for that moisture to go except for on your lens and inside your mask. That's gonna cause you to be fogging up and it's not gonna be helpful uh, for when you're trying to see what you're shooting at. The other thing that some people do is like they'll put on a beanie and put the beanie over this. I don't recommend that either. If you're, if you're watching this and you're wondering how do I stop my mask from, uh, from fogging up and you're, you're just getting into playing, having just, if you do wear a beanie, you can just put it on and then put the mask over. So when your mask is on like this, there's still all that space there so that, that way all the moisture can actually escape so you don't have to worry about it uh, getting all up into your, uh, your lens. So for my newer players, uh, I hope that that helps you out, that this is something that uh, helps out with the fogging issues. I know sometimes the rental masks are kind of bare bones. Uh, so if you do get your own mask, make sure that it has a thermal lens and uh, that's gonna help with all of those fogging issues. Uh, so again, you can go and check out all the masks that they have at punisherspb.com. So now I wanna talk to my tournament players. So let's say that you go, uh, you're, you're looking forward to an event and you're looking at the forecast and it's definitely gonna rain. I wanna talk about some rain tips as well. So the first tip, make sure that you have a clear or like a yellow lens. I prefer a yellow lens whenever I'm playing in low light conditions uh, or if it's raining, just because when you put it up, you can see that it gets super bright. It's gonna help brighten up the field. So that way when it's all overcast, you don't have to worry about is that guy actually shooting at me? Can I go? Is that guy even looking at me? Uh, you can avoid all those issues because now the field is brightened up a little bit for you. I used to use a yellow lens uh, playing in all conditions. I don't necessarily recommend that anymore. Uh, I like using my, uh, my tinted lens for that. But it's always good to have a clear or yellow lens. Now the other one that's good is those amber uh, those amber lenses. So it's kind of like a brown. Uh, those are going to be great too because it's going to be kind of an in-between. I know Charlie on the ML Kings likes to use those the whole time. He doesn't go to any tinted lens. He prefers to have those. Some people uh, like to be able to use them because you can maybe see a little bit more. It's all going to come down to preference. But when it's raining, you need to get one of three lenses. The yellow, clear, or maybe those amber lenses. Those are all going to help you out with being able to see. So the next thing is a visor. It's super important to have a visor. I've had this visor now for, I wanna say it's like two years, three years. Uh, what's good with these Virtue ones is that they're universal. So no matter what mask you're using, you're able to use it. Uh, so it just clips right into those vents. But what's great is that you see how it kind of goes up like that. It's not going to stop the uh, moisture from, from coming out. So it's gonna help with keeping the rain coming into your lens because then it's gonna kind of streak on the inside. The other thing is uh, instead of taping, so some people like to tape the, uh, the top of their, their mask, again, you're running into that issue of not letting any of the moisture come out. So if, if you're looking for something to purchase to always have in your gear bag and always have with you when you're going on a tournament, I always have my visor with me. It actually fits right into my, uh, my goggle case. And I always have my yellow lens. Or again, like I said, a clear or amber, something like that that's just gonna help you out with being able to see. So another thing that you can do, and this is all preference, is just leave the visor on. <laughs> uh, one of my old teammates uh, with the ML Kings, he always had on a visor. It's just something that he liked. The great thing with the CMDs is that they already have that little mini visor. Uh, so it's gonna help with blocking a little bit of light coming down. 
but he liked having the full visor just it's a preference thing so it's totally fine if you just want to stick that thing on there and then you never have to worry if it starts raining you don't have to run into your gear bag throw it on and then run back out or if it's in between points and maybe it stops raining and you want to take off that uh that visor uh you're going to be able to to not have to worry about it because you can just leave it on the whole time so the last thing and, and sometimes if it's raining super hard and it's super humid you can't necessarily avoid uh that fog coming up uh fogging up your lens a tip that you can do is uh, one kind of waiting until it's like we're, we're right about to start that game uh, so if it was at a tournament I might wait a little bit uh, usually we're turning points pretty quick but let's say it was a practice or, or uh, something like that uh, I might wait before I actually walk out into the uh, the tournament or walk out onto the field because the more that you're breathing out of your mouth the more moisture and, and heat is going to be inside of that lens so with that uh, a, a remedy that will help, it's not gonna cure this, but it will help, is breathing out of your nose. If you can breathe more out of your nose, you gotta think more of the moisture and all that's going down rather than out and up. So it's just gonna help. Again, it's not gonna cure this because once you start yelling and talking on the field, sometimes it's gonna be unavoidable to have that fogging. But if you uh, use these tricks and tips, you're gonna be able to put yourself in a better situation. So thank you again to PunishersPB.com for sponsoring this video. Again, please go and support those that support the channel. Uh, thank you to, to them for doing that. All of these products that I just talked about, you can find on there. So anything that you're looking for, uh, they're gonna have it on the site. If they don't have it, send them a message and they can probably get it for you. So thank you everyone for watching. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.